that's my our teacher. Beautiful, isn't she? She said she always wanted children and even found a fiance. She also said she was already thinking up a name. I think it was all right, Chelsea. Hmm, that's interesting. The words are too small to read. Anything there? That's the map. That's the newspaper thing. Okay, wait. I want you to look for a white notebook. Please? But I've looked. That's a burgundy. Burgundy. Okay, we go up here. That's vermilion. And that's the burgundy one. Okay. So if we go over here, it just takes us back here. Yep. And that's turquoise. <coughs> if we go here, it goes right back there. black. It's probably going to do the same thing, but I've got to check it out just in case. Yep. Okay. I've got to be missing something here. Very boring. I'm going to check every little shelf. It's not anywhere there. Oh, jeez, really? It was right there? Okay. <clears throat> White notebook. Found it? Good. Will you show it to me? Yes, it's blank. It's always been blank, ever since then. No, it's okay. I just wanted to check. Okay. Okay, what's this? Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Looks like we're here. It's the sky. A sky of souls. 
This is where they were born. Both eaten souls and souls that lose their power can be reborn. But I'm too weighted down to fly, so I can't. Ah, uh, some choose to keep going even when they're nothing but a soul. A fantastic power can be turned into an equally awful power. But don't you think it's better to be reborn than to cling to one thing? You know it's impossible to get a crumpled paper back to being creaseless. It's no good for me. I've lost my soul and my sparkle. To think that he's family, my only connection. Well, but I'm shameful myself. You, you should grow to be people who can break away. Renouncing facing oneself, renouncing acknowledgement. Renouncing improving oneself, renouncing attachment to life. And he renounced taking notice of anything around him. What you're about to see is the fate of a person who ends up that way. It's all right. Even if you feel you're as unhappy as can be now, there's lots of happiness to be had. You're still children, yes? Not, not adults yet. Yes, so you'll always need to be looking ahead. There's no point in looking behind. It's all up to you in the end. I hope we can meet again. Good night, crybaby. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? You've been spacing out. Well, as long as you're alright, hurry and open that door. Okay. Oh, that was neat. That was something that was absolutely, totally new to me. <clears throat> I can't remember. I think I mentioned it when I started this uh, playthrough. But... Um... I have seen a video or two of this game, but it was like over a year ago, so I didn't remember most of it. But that scene, I don't think I've seen people do, because it didn't seem familiar to me at all. So that was kind of cool. <clears throat> okay. I think this is the uh, home stretch. So, we will save. And, let's see what's going. Okay. Are you going? I am. Okay, oh, this looks interesting. There's a bed. Can't go into it, can't interact. Over here looks like a bookcase. There's a novel here. A strange book, isn't it? But lots of people have read it. <laughs> I wrote it, but the name is my friend's. Yes, I hate it. I know I've told you that again and again. The name itself is great. My teacher gave it to me. But I hate myself so much for not living up to the name. It's blotted out and unreadable. Okay. This is where we part. This is my world. This door leads to my current world. It's very tiny and still restricted. It's open. Why did it come to this? You're smart, so perhaps you know. 
If you know the answer, tell me, Alan. Obtained a shard of love. Mother, father, I have to go. Okay. There's a diary. Let's read it. I bought a house. Well, but it was formerly a facility. It's much too big for me. I can see myself getting lost easily. I'm indebted to Cliff once again. I should really thank him later. Today I met a girl. A few days ago, she was found near a house that burned down and seems to be the daughter. She insists there's someone other than her. She seems to have another personality, so I gave her double the furniture and such. I wasn't sure what to do, but at any rate, I found a research subject this way. She's now in my care. No symptoms at the moment. I met a second girl. I received a letter three days ago that had all the particulars. Perhaps because of what she's been through, she's much less cheery. She's reluctant to talk with me. She enjoyed talking with the other girl, albeit not for very long. It may be slow, but I'll try to get her talking with me. No symptoms at the moment. The third, I met a boy. I was surprised, but given his mother, I decided to take him in. He talks plenty, but he's illogical. He was a little awkward with the two girls, but they're playing together a few days later. Today he kept putting frogs on my head. He's a bit too mischievous. No symptoms at moment. I met the fourth, a girl. She walked from a town in the woods. I talked with her and she told me about a new mysterious illness. Evidently it wiped out her town. Did she have a resistance to it? I'm a little interested, but it's unrelated. She doesn't want to talk about it much. It's hard to talk with her. She doesn't <clears throat> Talk to the other girls, just playing piano in her room. No symptoms at the moment. All the children have the potential to break out, but still no symptoms. But are there even symptoms? How did it go back then? I'm getting a headache. I'll stop for now. A few pages are ripped out. <clears throat> I met a fifth child. He was outside when the incident happened. He says the shock caused memory loss. At a glance, I was surprised. It's just a hunch, but he may be on the verge. I'll watch him very carefully. Two seasons have passed since then. What have I been doing? I feel like my chest is burning. I see the scene in my mind again. <clears throat> this must mean, yes, very soon. It must be over soon. My head hurts. I'm sorry, Fiona. There's a scrap of paper in the back. Tiny notebook scrap. <clears throat> when I came to, it was my usual world. She's still sleeping today. I loved lots of people, but I was never loved. Why is that? Ah, should I have been loved more? But there's no bad people left. There's only good people around me. The cat says only bad people can love. Which is why I don't know. I don't know a thing. I just keep trying to people so I can be people loved. <clears throat>
Well, that was an unlocking sound. Let's save just so. So I don't have to read all of that again. Variety of books. Okay. Lots of books. Small notebook. <coughs> now let's read it. Victims of nightmare syndrome continue to increase. I'm glad they found some good food, but they're up to something in our world to drag they're up to something in our world to drag people into the world. Parents suddenly being violent to children, abandoning them, forsaking them. It must be the rabbit's power. The cat must be up to something, too. What did he tell me back then? I only took one thing from you. Was it really only one? Can a person be so easily ruined by having one thing taken? Is the cat lying? I don't have a clue. There's no time, no time, no time. The door. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. What's this? A strange hole. Well, let's save again and see what happens. Let's go down the hole. Uh, oh, is this... I think I found one of the endings. <laughs> Count your sins. Judgment, guilty, sentence to bed, sweet dreams for life. Yo, yo, yo. What? Told you, didn't I? That I'd show you the goods in the hood? What kind of a mess? I scrounged up some stuff. Left eyes from a boy hurt by sheep. Hair, a girl who lost the light. Ears, an abandoned black cat. Pretty sweet, don't you think? Heap on that praise. Now, I'm a guy who keeps his promises. You got the key, yeah? From the white rabbit? But you stabbing somebody or getting stabbed is boring. For me, anyway. You're not sure how to answer any of my questions. You taste lousy, I bet. Ah, uh, that's right. Didn't I tell you that, too? We eat souls. If we don't, we go poof. We can eat dogs or frogs, sure, but people taste best. Particularly souls that are ruined by despair and agony. Kids don't know much stuff. If you know what to take, it's easy to crush them. But man, I didn't think you'd be so hollow when I took it from you. Kids like you are rare in this day and age, you know? Adults are no good, though. They're too hard because <clears throat> of all that dirty knowledge. So we're mainly dying by luring kids into this world. Ah, but this time is special. That guy never changed. Not since he was a little brat. I really don't like the look of you, cat. Couldn't be a happier day than this. No, sir. What's so funny? You eat pigs and cows and their souls. What's the difference if we eat frog and human souls? There really ain't no difference between us and you. 
Why do we keep using the same language as you? That never struck you? Question. What do you think happens when people die? When people die and vanish from the world, they give us power. Because souls don't die. There's all kinds of them, and I take things from them. Rabbit can rewrite the signs on the paths people take, in a good way or a bad way. You guys like to call that the work of demons or angels, depending. The only one different is our God. He's pretty wrathful. He made it so all creatures need love to live. But people forgot love. They made their own <coughs> because they made their own rules. Well, what do you think of that? The world was already over once people came into being. Just taking the road from the end just taking the road from the end from then on. That makes no sense to me. Well, there you go. That's what I've done. Now, I told you a bit ago, the other way to link the world with the world. A pact with a demon. In layman's terms, your soul and mine get mixed. If I can take a soul rather than eat it, I can live much, much longer. Strong intentions are risky. Those make it hard for me to act the way I like. But you're empty. You don't get a chance this good every day. If you give me everything, I'll take all the guys in this world back to your world as thanks. It'll be over before you know it. It doesn't hurt. Vanish here or merge with me to help with the to help the others. What'll it be? Oh what should we do? What should we do? No, I want to say no. See what happens. Well then, that makes this goodbye. Farewell. No, oh, that's a death. Okay, load it up. Yeah. I'll pause until we get to the end of this. Okay. <clears throat> We're back to this point. Let's see what happens. Pact made. I can't hate you smart brats. By the way, I think you'll keep enough consciousness to see. So there's that. What, <clears throat> what I took from you? Alright, I'll tell you before you go. Love, I took love from you and from the others. Satisfied? Alrighty. I'll remember you. Sure will. So long, Alan. an end, huh? Oh, that was one ending. Um, uh, well, let's see how this goes out. I'll show one more ending. Because there's like seven endings. And I'll be able to show you at least one more without having to play through the game all over again. <clears throat> Hopefully, this won't take too long going through credits.
It's a nice game. Deep story. And I'm guessing these illustrations just show how <coughs> everybody was afterwards, or is this during our time there? I don't know. Well, that's a Cheshire face if I ever saw it. This is going to cut it close for the recording to cut out. Alice Mayer. Okay. Well, that's that. We will uh, come back with going through the door instead of the hole. See you then. Okay, there was uh, more to it after that screen. So let's see. Man, it was h always hard to get used to new stuff. As for this key, meh, don't want to meet Rabbit right now. I'll toss it out around here. Now to pick up the pieces. Who will I eat first? Ah, I bet if I eat them right in front of him, he'll fall to despair easy. Can't eat adults, though. I'll play with him, then get some new parts from him. <laughs> yep, Cheshire Cat End. Okay. Now, next video will be, uh, we'll be back at the door. I'll see you then.